Oh, the first two races at Sandown today have been abandoned due to lack of entries, and we go straight into the Whitbread, which is a three mile five foot on grade three handicap. And at the top, we've got Salto Loma Nor for Darren Thompson, the teacher, Joshua Sullivan, Agent Decoy for Padre Hogan, Rose Tree, David Hooley, Collider Stopic River, Martin Leadham, Gunpoint Defence, Stu Gray, Protractor Hayes, Daniel French, Place the Duchess, Alex Cherry, River Tarquin, John Morgan, Watchtower, Pontypool Racing, Finding Alice, Martin Leadham, that's last year's winner, Lavere Pala River, David Robertson, Silent Voices, Graham Clutterbuck, Cord. Jonathan, Alex Cherry, Flyers for Official, Padre Hogan, Shinchi Utopia, Vinnie Gerard, Rebecca Sledmere, David Robertson and Velvet Sky. Craig Beckwith, so straight into the big race then, and they're away and racing. And into the first they go, and they're all safely over the first. Bit of a short day for me today then. And Place the Duchess was the leader, but now River Tarquin has come through to take it up. So it's River Tarquin who's going to lead them into the second of the 21 fences they've got to negotiate in this Whitbread Gold Cup and they skip over the second all safely over it Feel quite well strung out and River Tarquin leading for John Morgan we've seen John Morgan decimate some fields in the last few weeks as a fall of the Essence Utopia has gone by putting some real pace into the race looks like he might be doing a similar thing today as well with Vinnie Geron Essence Utopia already departed so they're passing the winning post now they've got two complete circuits of the Sandown track to go and it's River Tarquin who leads the Whitbread field from the teacher in second then called Jonathan and placed the Duchess a third and fourth with Watchtower on that one's inside then Rose Tree and Agent Decoy with Kaleidoscopic River on the inside rail then a little bit of a gap to the next group who are headed by Protractor Hayes and Flowers for Fischl and last year's winner finding Alice the grey on the inside I'm just looking she might be the only grey in the field which again is a surprise in a field this size there don't seem to be that many greys in the jumps this season there's quite a few on a flat but definitely not that many in the jumping which is a bit weird anyway River Tarquin is the leader especially considering it's usually the other way around but River Tarquin's in front Teacher is about four lengths back in second. This long, long run to the next now. They've got rid of the water jump at Sandown. And River Tarquin will lead them into this plain one. Oh, we decided to look at that one on a big screen. Over the second part of that early double. And they're safely over that one. We should race on towards a ditch now before the railways. And it's River Tarquin who's in the lead from the teacher and call Jonathan as they all stream over that one towards the back silent voices and gunpoint defence currently sharing last as they head towards these railway fences then now these three fences that come close together you've got to take the first one right or you're probably going to make a mess of all three and River Tarquin will lead them into it this doesn't seem all that hot now but they are quite strung out though as River Tarquin lands over the first railway and is almost at the second railway fence before the rest of them have got over the first successfully negotiated them a pop oh, there's a few gone there South Sado Manor and Silent Voices two gone not like there was more than that had gone but it was just the two of them but that's the top weight out of it and also Silent Voices as well and last year's winner finding out this is now last so it's River Tarquin who's got the lead from the teacher in second then called Jonathan and placed the Duchess third and fourth then Agent Decoy and Rose Tree watch tower is making some ground up the inside then comes flowers for fischl and velvet sky as they get to the next this is the pond the pond fence and also for over the pond and they head towards the two in the straight and river tarquin will lead them into this one the lead of about four lengths to call jonathan who's now second ahead of the teacher third stream over that one nicely and head towards the fence that'll be the last on the next circuit and they're all safely over that one the final fence in reality of course is a double sided fence where they jump that ditch one time and then the second time around they jump the plain one but we did have that course for a while it was built for SO6 I think but didn't seem to make it into SO7 so hopefully if there's an SO8 somebody will put that back in because it'll be nice 
and it's River Tarquin who's the leader. It was probably Gray, he seems to do most of the building for the league. Mark used to do a bit years ago, but he does it anymore. River Tarquin, anyway, the leader from the teacher in second. Place the Duchess third, and then called Jonathan fourth. Then comes Watchtower and Rebecca Sledmere, agent decoys after that one, and then Lavere Palariva. Then Rose Tree and Flowers for Fischl with Protractor Hayes, Kaleidoscopic River, Gunport Defence, Velvet Sky, and Finding Alice. The little group at the back who've got quite a lot of work to do to get involved in the finish. And they completed this really long run now since they took that water jumper by them. Maybe would have put another fence in or something. It's a long, long run. To this double, and it's River Tarquin who will lead them into it. And place the Duchess in second, and then the Teacher and Watchtower, then Lavere Panariva. So they finally get to the next fence, and the leader went straight through that one. And he's coming back to the pack now, and it's going to be caught and placed the Duchess, I think, who takes a, over the leader with the second part of that. Don't look at how the field have suddenly grouped together. After being well strung out at this point on the last circuit, they are now pretty tightly grouped, really. And heading off towards the railway fences now, getting down the business end of the race. There's six more fences to take. And these next three are going to come up in quick succession on Watchtower has come through to take it off on Rose Tree is absolutely cruising. Then River Tarkin on the inside trying to get back into it. Place the Duchess next then Rebecca Sledmere as they get over that next one. And there's the middle one of the railways and now the final one of the railways and over that one they go and it's Rose Tree who's got the lead. Rose Tree's come out of that lot in the lead from Rebecca Sledmere in second place. The Duchess Watchtower then Lavere Pella River. River Tarquin dropping away now. The teacher is next. Kaleidoscopic River is cruising through nicely. Gunpoint Defence is also making some room. A couple of them caught really wide there. Particularly Velvet Sky and I think it flowers for Fisher. It might be Agent Decoy but it's Rose Tree suddenly gone clear into the lead by two lengths from in second place. Kaleidoscopic River, then comes Watchtown Rebecca Sledmere, the teacher is next then after that one comes Lavere Panariva they're coming down to the pond, over it they go, they've only got a couple more to take there now and it's Rose Tree in the lead from Kaleidoscopic River on Watchtower, here comes last year's winner Finding Alice with a run after that one comes Place the Duchess, then the teacher, then comes Lavere Panariva and Patrata Hayes, they've got two to jump in the whip red and Rose Tree is clear of Kaleidoscopic River and Watchtower and then Finding Alice over the second last they go and it's Rose Tree in the lead from Kaleidoscopic River. Finding Alice has moved through into third. At the final fence, Rose Tree's over it in front and is clear of Watchtower and Finding Alice and the teacher called Jonathan was a faller but it's Rose Tree who's clear as they race up towards the line and it's going to be Rose Tree who's going to take the whip red. Rose Tree takes it. Watchtower's going to be second. Protractor Hayes is finished. going to be third. Then the teacher Finding Alice back to form in fifth. North Sandown then plays the Duchess after that one. Rebecca Sledmere all the way back to Flowers for Fischl. David Hooley takes it with Rose Tree. Watchtower is second for Graham Clutterbuck. Protractor Hayes was third for Daniel French. The teacher for Joshua Sutherland was fourth. And a little bit back to form for Finding Alice last year's winner who finished fifth.